uh, we are learning about balancing chemical equations uh, so we are following these rules and these rules are the same rules for balancing equation that you learned in class however I still want you guys to read it them but let's start with the example right now so this equation here we have balanced equation what does that even mean that means you should have equal number of atoms of each element on the reactant side this is the whole thing is the reactant side and this one on the product side we want to make sure that the number of atoms of each element are equal on both sides all right that's our job to make them equal so carbon is here one here this side is carbon one so i'm going to write here one and one hydrogen is four okay hydrogen this side is two so two atoms of hydrogen here i see two atoms of oxygen and here you have two and then one remember we are looking at the entire side not just one substance everything on the right side and everything on the product side so you have two and one so it is three atoms of oxygen now we have to balance this because you can see it is not balanced because each atom has to be balanced of every element so here carbon one one hydrogen four but this side two this side oxygen is two this side oxygen is three so how do we balance them to balance we use only we adjust only the coefficients coefficients are the numbers that goes up here in the front of the formula we never touch these numbers these subscripts at the bottom because if you try to adjust these subscripts then that will change our original substance so we do not want to change our substance we just want to balance the number of atoms on each side of the equation okay so my carbon is one my carbon is one perfect hydrogen is four here hydrogen is two here so if i put two here this will be two times two four hydrogen Okay. now when I do that number number of oxygen changes this side it is two times two times one here two and then you have this two so two plus two it becomes four oxygen how do I make this oxygen four I'm going to put here two that will make it two times two four okay now it looks like everything is balanced one carbon one carbon hydrogen four hydrogen atoms here and two times two four here okay and oxygen two times two four and oxygen two is this one and then two times one two this one so two plus two four here so finally four 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 one one let's do and, and also guys there is no need of writing one here because this is obvious that this is one okay you will write that one like if you're working on the activities but in general there is no need of writing this coefficient one no need okay let's, let me do other examples let's look at this example we're going to do the same thing here we have four carbon atoms four one carbon atom ten hydrogen atom two hydrogen atoms two oxygen atoms and here you have two plus one three oxygen atoms now we have to balance them it's not balanced so how do we do that this side has four carbon this side has one carbon so if I put four here this carbon becomes four okay so I'm going to cross this out and write four here four okay all right now let me balance hydrogen hydrogen this side is 10 however hydrogen this side is 2 how do I make this one 10 if I put 5 here 5 times 2 is 10 so this is 10 here now I'm going to cross this out and write down 10 now both sides have 10 hydrogen also you have to remember guys whenever you have pure elements you leave these pure elements to balance at the end always balance the complex molecules first and pure elements at the end okay now comes the oxygen oxygen here five times one is five and here four times two is eight so eight plus five will be 13 so here you have 13 oxygen okay so if you, if this is 13 how do i make this one 13 well then i have to have a fraction here 6.5 
times 2 will be 13. So now I cross this out, my oxygen is balanced. However, there is one more thing if you are reading rule number 7. Rule number 7 says whenever you have coefficients in fractions, you multiply this whole equation by 2. Okay, so you saw I have so far 4, 4, 10, 10, 13 and 13. It looks pretty good, but when you are actually finishing it at the end, you should always uh, make sure that all these coefficients are the whole numbers. When you multiply this equation by 2, you are going to get 2 times 1, 2. Okay, and then 2 times 6.5, 13. 2 times 4 is 8. And then 2 times 5 is 10. Did you see that I'm all I'm doing is multiplying with the coefficients only? And why only the coefficients? Because we are not allowed to adjust the subscripts when we balance. Let's move on. Let's do more example here. Okay. Let me see. Did I write that? Okay. So here, uh, okay. So now you can tell that this is, so let me tell you, I, uh, let me tell you one more thing here. So here, just, just to double check, this one, two times four is eight. All right. And here it is eight, eight carbon. So eight and eight. All right. Hydrogen, two times 10, 20 and hydrogen, 10 times two, 20. Okay. And then what is left? Oxygen. 13 times 2, 26. And oxygen here, 8 times 2 is 16. And this is 10 times 1 is 10. So 16 plus 10 is 26. So now you can see 8, 8, 20, 20, 26, and 26. Right? So you still want to make sure uh, one more time, even after. You have to double check. Always double check that it is balanced. Let's this another one. You have four atoms of phosphorus. You have two atoms of phosphorus here. You have two atoms of oxygen here, and you have five atoms of oxygen here. You can see they're not balanced, so we have to balance them. Here you have four phosphorus. However, here you have two. So how do you make these phosphorus four by putting four coefficient this becomes two times two four however when you are putting two here this becomes two times five ten so what do i do to make this my oxygen ten i put the four coefficient that makes it five times two ten so now the both sides are balanced four phosphorus four phosphorus okay so this is four this is four this is five times two ten and this is two times five is ten so balanced Look at this equation, you have one potassium and you have one potassium on that side, the left and the right side. Now nitrogen, one and one, oxygen, three, and here two, and then two, four. That is how I have these numbers. Now we have to balance because it is not balanced. So let's start with potassium. You have one potassium here, one potassium here. That's fine. We can leave it alone. Nitrogen, nitrogen. Okay, we can leave that alone as well. Now you have two oxygen and two oxygen, meaning total four. What do we do? Remember we said pure elements always balance that, them at the end because they are the easiest one to balance. They are not going to interfere with anything else. So we want to balance the complex molecules first. So here you have two plus two, four, and here you have three. So if I put two here, what will happen? This will be 2 times 2, 4, right? And then you have 2 times 2, 4 plus 2. That means 6, okay? Now, what do I do here to make this oxygen 6? I can put 2. And this makes it 2 times 3, 6. So my oxygen is balanced. But let me see how about my potassium and nitrogen. Well, my potassium 2, potassium 2, nitrogen 2, nitrogen 2 because these big coefficients in the front they go with every element which is uh, in the formula right so potassium 
is 2 both sides and nitrogen is 2 both sides now and your oxygen is 6. So now you can tell that this equation is balanced 2 2 2 2 and 6 and 6 okay all right one potassium one potassium one chlorine two chlorine two fluorine and one fluorine let's balance this since you have one potassium here one potassium here don't worry about that so chlorine is one chlorine is two well now how do i make this this chlorine two I'm going to put 2 here. This becomes 2 chlorine and now you have 2 chlorine on both sides. However, when I have 2 here, this makes my potassium 2 as well. So now I have to make this potassium 2. I'm going to put 2 here. Okay, This makes my potassium 2. This makes my fluorine 2 as well. Now everything is balanced. You have 2 potassium, 2 potassium, you have 2 chlorine, you have 2 chlorine, you have 2 fluorine here and then 2 times 1. 2 chlorine on this side. Alright guys, so you write down your final number of atoms. Alright, this is already and this you change. So, so 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 and then 2. Now here I'm like taking this equation because here is there is something additional uh, that is your rule number five that tells you whenever you have polyatomic ions on both sides of the equation you treat them as a single unit you keep them together and it makes it easier to count and it saves your time as well. So you have one silver one silver here two silver here one and two you have one nitrate this is polyatomic ion and then one nitrate together keep it together both side one nitrate potassium two that is why you have two here potassium one you have potassium one here okay so potassium two and then potassium one sulfate again keep it together SO4 is together SO4 is together both of them are single units so you write one now let's balance them because it's not balanced you can see these numbers are not equal on both sides so silver is one here silver is two here I'm going to make this silver two how do i do that okay i cannot put two at the bottom remember never ever adjust the subscripts always the superscript so if i put two here if i put two here now my silver will be two okay but watch when the silver becomes two look at the nitrate nitrate becomes two as well right and what so how what do i do uh, let's look at the other one so since this nitrate became two now I have to worry about this nitrate well this is only one so if I put two here this nitrate will be two as well now my nitrate is balanced let's look at other things you have two potassium here now I have two potassium here as well both side two potassium right sulfur sulfate is one sulfate is one on this side as well so now you can see everything is balanced this side silver is 2, cross this out 2. Silver is 2, the subscript here. So this is same. Nitrate is 2 now instead of 1. So you cross this out, you write 2. Here nitrate is 2 instead of 1, you write 2. Potassium this side is 2 and this side 2 as well. So you write 2. Sulfate is 1 and 1, so this is fine. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and then 2. Okay, guys. So that is how you work on these equations. You have to be very patient and you have to practice a lot because you need to know this, especially for the next upcoming unit, which is on stoichiometry. You really, really need to have a, like a good basic understanding of balancing equations. Right? So practice as much as you can. So here is one more example. Just look at this. Here is another one. Okay, it's already being done for you. And I want you guys to try this on your own. Balance these equations. Take your time and uh, double check all your answers. I already have answers for you. So here you go. Here you go.
thank you for watching guys i hope this you find this video helpful and don't forget to use your class notes because you have every single thing in your class notes as well thank you take care guys see you